Hello guys, how are you doing? This is your friend Manak from Civil Center and once again I welcome all of you back to our channel Civil Center. So friends, in this video we'll discuss about the building plan of a residential building having size 30 feet into 40 feet. So basically 1200 square feet plot we have here and the facing of the plot is along the north. This plot is special because it has roads along two directions that is the north and the west. As you can see the main entrance gate is through the north but we also have an entrance for the vehicles along west. The size of the parking or the portico is 18 feet 10 inches into 11 feet. So one number of four wheeler can easily come here and if required you can also put some two wheelers also here. Now this is the staircase as we can see that the staircase is in a separate position than the house. So the merit of putting the staircase in this position is that if the owner wants then he can give the house for rent purpose as both the units are separate. So we have a staircase here and then going back to the living room. The entrance of the living room is through this door. We have given an offset of 2 feet from the boundary wall for ventilation purpose along all of these sides. Now the living room has a window here and we have put some sofas here for sitting of the guests. The size of the living room is 13 feet 1 inch into 9 feet 8 inch. It is sufficient for sitting of guests and also if required sitting of the persons of the house. Now this is the dining area which is adjacent to our kitchen of size 10 feet into 7 feet. We have our master bedroom then. The master bedroom is in the you can see here southwest direction. Now the southwest direction is the best position for master bedroom as per Vastu. We also have a toilet here of size 5 feet into 7 feet and the WC is wall mounted. So the size of the master bedroom is sufficient here and we also have a study room. As you can see that the size of the study room is 10 feet into 10 feet but we have two numbers of windows here because in study room the ventilation and the sunlight is very important. So there will be sufficient amount of sunlight and ventilation in this study room. This is the study area. This portion can be used for keeping bookshelves and in this portion we can put a single bed. There is a common toilet here for persons using the living room. Now in this plan there is one demerit. So what is this demerit? If you already know you can comment. Now according to us the one demerit of this plan is that the living room is adjacent to the dining room. So the dining room has no privacy. Suppose if some guest comes into the house then dining room will be in his range and the persons using the kitchen will have to go through here. So the privacy or the internal privacy you can see is not been maintained. But the merit of this plan is that external privacy. The external privacy of this unit is maintained as the person using the unit above that is the first floor will go through this stair. So the external privacy of this building is good but when it comes to internal privacy it is not good as the person in the living room has access to this area. So friends that's all for today. If you had found any other advantages or disadvantages of this plan you can comment below because we want it to be a two-way channel in which both of us can interact and share our ideas. It's not that one will give lecture and another will listen. It's about a platform where both of us can share our thoughts. And if you want to join us online, we are starting a student clubs, club of civil engineers where we prepare students of civil engineering for the industry and we provide them various kinds of training. All the details you can find in the description. See you in the next video. Bye.